Coach, talk about you know a road trip, a successful one at least scoreboard wise. Did you feel that in what you're trying to implement too? You had a successful weekend. Yeah, really good road trip. Um, just really, um, you know, start gone for four days, so so you, it's a good chance to kind of get spend some time with the team, uh, team building and that sort of thing. Just really started off well on. Um, Thursday, we were able to go to the, to the National Civil Rights Museum on Thursday and spend some time there. So, uh, really good experience for the guys on our team um, and, and prompted some really good discussions and a really great museum. So, just anytime you're on the road, um, we're, you're trying to look for ways to, um, you know, to educate your student athletes, I guess. And to, um, I mean, to, to me, it's, to me, you're trying to make sure that when guys leave your program, that they're ready to be leaders in their community. And if there's, I don't know if there's a better place to uh, take guys to teach them about um, if you see something that you don't agree with in your community to stand up and to, to love the people around you and to um, speak up against injustice and support people that are just in your area. So that was a great, great for us. We got the trip off to a great start um, and I, just a great job by our assistant coaches for setting up, setting that up and getting us ready to go to that. Um, and then, um, you know, it really started the trip off well. Um, and, and just feel like our guys are looking to grow in a lot of ways um, and on and off the court. So that was really good uh, experience for everybody, uh, coaches and players, um, and, and prompted, like I said, some really good discussions am amongst our team. So really enjoyed that. Uh, and then a chance to just be together as a team on Thursday on an off day um, and spend some time talking about, um, about basketball as well and what we hope to accomplish this year. So that was great. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, um, you know, played in a great atmosphere on Friday night. Um, true road game, uh, packed house, really good experience for our guys. Um, and a good good growth there as well on the basketball court, learning how to win and win on the road. And and then Saturday, turn around, you know, we're the only team in that tournament that had to play the night game and turn around the next day and play in the afternoon. Quick turnaround, played at 2 o'clock, 2.30, excuse me, the next day. Um, and then, and then that's a gym you're playing in um, with not a lot of people because it's a neutral site game. So that took a little bit different type of toughness uh, and focus and really proud of our team on that. We did not play the best. I think we only led five minutes of the game, um, but we led at the end when you want to lead. Um, so really, really proud of all our guys, especially the new guys for playing their first road game um, and finding a way to win and stick together. Um, and, and then also of our, you know, our seniors, great leadership, from those guys, um, and also Max Cody, um, you know, Kyle and Max played really well all weekend. They didn't necessarily shoot it well the whole weekend, but they played well. They're still growing a lot, but leading our team and, and having good guards uh, down the stretch was a big difference in both those games. Um, and also Trevor, Trevor Rostein uh, had a tremendous weekend for us. Um, you know, just just great on the rebounding, uh, great leadership from, from Trev. You know, really just stepping up and being a senior, and then and then Nibber White as well, not playing as much as he'd probably like the first game, and then having a real impact the second game. Plus minus, he was plus eleven, led us in plus minus the second day. Uh, really sparked us, especially the second half. He was really good, um, and that takes a little bit of toughness too to to sit there a little bit the first day and bounce back and be ready to go right away the next day. So a lot of a lot of things really happy with. Um, certainly a lot of room for growth, um, but it, but it's 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 a lot more fun to to learn it from wins than it is to learn from losses. So definitely happy to, wait, to come away with two. Um, and then we had a little bit of free time because of that quick turnaround. So our guys were able to go to the Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies and Dallas Mavericks game on Saturday night. They had a great time uh, there and just kind of hang out as a team um, and just continue to the team building stuff. So um, it's a really fun group to be around because um, they want to get better every day, like I said, on and off the court. And they want to they want to grow as young men. So just really proud of them from this weekend. Uh, also proud how they how they've carried themselves all year. but. It's good to get off to a good start. A lot of work to do, um, but but excited to excited to coach them today again. How does uh, Dickinson State usually test you guys when you play them early in the year? And you yeah, kind of yeah. Dickinson out? State is fun because it's just that rivalry that it's been for so many years, and there's so many people that'll be here that played against Dickinson State back when they were a football player, volleyball player, uh, basketball player here at Minot State. So many good stories um, from people that have played in that rivalry. Um, so it's always fun to play them. Uh, and play play a team that's um, you know been a rival of ours for a long time. Um, you know they're they're a little bit different than the teams we played this weekend. They're smaller. Um, they'll spread it out a lot. We played some some good sides this weekend. 
Um, but they're, they've got a talented team. They've got a lot of newcomers, and they're still tr trying to find their way a little bit uh, this year. So we're really going to dig into them today on the film and, uh, with our coaching staff. And uh, on the practice court today, it'll be all about us and what we can do better. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about some of the winning plays we made as well over the weekend. But well, there's a lot of get better uh, plays to watch, too, on film and to talk about on the court. Um, and really worry about Dickinson State tomorrow and on Wednesday. But just a good rivalry. Um, and, you know, the Doug Jagger game. You know, a guy that played here at Minot State and then a longtime um, community member in Dickinson uh, there that supports basketball, both basketball pro pro programs, excuse me, he passed away a few years ago. But that's, that kind of makes it always nice uh, as well to have a game where you're remembering somebody that made a big impact and talked about earlier, make an impact in your community. And Doug's remembered here and in Dickinson for doing just that. So that makes it a little bit extra special for us and, and something to talk to our guys about. Um, as well as, hey, here's a guy who did things the right way that, that impacted a lot of young people um, in two different communities in North Dakota. So uh, that, that's a fun thing, too, and a, and a good teaching point for our guys as well. So excited for that. And then, um, and then it's nice to be home for a while. We've been on the road a lot for our exhibitions. And part of the reason we play on the road early is so we, when we play a real game on the road, we've been in there. I think that helped us on, on, on Friday night, excuse me, to know what to expect when a crowd gets going a little bit. Um, but it's sure going to be nice to be home for the next couple weeks. And, um, you know, two big games this week and, and then another one the next week. How important is it, you know, once you get to that northern sun grind to be able to win a game like you guys did Saturday? Yeah, you know, it just, you want to be able to, you got to be tough to, to win on the road for sure. And then to play back to back, you got to be tough. And then you got to be, you also have to be pretty mentally tough to play not your best basketball and be behind and trail and keep, keep believing and keep trying to do your job every play. And our guys did a really good job of that. Um, they stuck together. We're down 9-0 nine, nine early. We're down 9 in the second half early or mid-second half. Uh, so to just keep at it, keep believing um, in each other, keep believing in our program, that's a, that, that's a trait you have to it's, – it's easy to preach that, and it's easy for them to say that stuff or for me to say that. But the more you do that, the more you realize it's true, that you can come back, you can, you can be successful. It's a 40-minute game. Um, so really proud that we were able to do that. Hopefully that plays off um, down the road and just – you know, we just have so much room for growth um, as our team. That's the that's the main thing we're focusing on is staying hungry, for sure, and trying to learn every day. Um, we have a lot of first year guys playing as well, and um, you know, first year to our program or first time playing big minutes. So, just trying to um, keep doing that. I'm going to say that all year, so it's, it makes for a boring press conference, but it's the truth. Um, just trying to keep getting better, and you know, we've got these next four non conference games now to continue to improve, and we saw a lot of things this weekend that we haven't seen yet. You know, we got in big foul trouble um, the second game. So we had guys playing in different positions, and um, and we haven't had, been, had a chance to practice that a ton. So that's good to see it in game games that they're able to adjust. And, you know, we'll, we'll do some different lineups. We'll do some, some of our pressure stuff. We'll do some of our zone stuff the next four games to try to see how that fits into our attack um, for the rest of the year. And um, just a lot of opportunities to learn for the next four games for sure. Or some of those other areas of concern? Yeah, you know, I think we've been so good in, in a lot of areas, and we've also been so inconsistent in a lot of areas. Turned it over a little bit too much both times in the first half. We're better in the second half and won the second halves of both those games. Um, rebounded it really well the first night, didn't rebound it as well the second night. Shot it well the first night, didn't shoot it as well the, the second night. Um, so, you know, just continuing to fight for that consistency. Um, and then just, you know, I don't know that we were bad in any area, both consistently over the weekend, but I'm not sure we were great in any area either consistently over the weekend. So just trying to watch that and keep um, trying to do that every play. Um, you know, it was it was a good challenge this weekend as well just because those two teams are so different that we played and the way they played. And Wachita tries to speed you up and press you a little bit and has a lot of athleticism um, and, uh, and a little bit of size and some good size. But Harding has a lot of big bodies. Um, that they're really trying to pound it inside against you. Um, so a little bit different style of, of offense and defense. So it was good to be able to win in both those ways and learn from that in both those wins too. Uh, Kyle, you know, you mentioned him early. He didn't shoot the ball well, but how important was it for him to be able to get to the free throw line? Yeah, huge, ball? huge yesterday, or excuse me, Saturday in that win. Um, you know, we didn't shoot it well from the field, but we got to the line, I think it was 33 times. Um, and we didn't even shoot it great from the line. I think we scored it like 
uh, 1.3 points per possession from the line or something, which is which is low, um, but it's enough. We got there enough to make up for that, um, and that really carried us as we're not shooting it well um, to get there. And Kyle, I think, was nine of ten from the free throw line that night, um, which is which is great. Um, and we just kind of it's good to see a, see a guy play a good game even when he doesn't shoot it well and play a great shooting game. So he played a good floor game, found ways to be effective. Uh, Max as well, uh, both those games. So, um, you know, you're just fortunate to have two, two older guards um, that you can count on. Um, even if they're not their best, they can find ways to help you win. And those two guys both did that for sure. Uh, so, you know, as I mentioned earlier, those two guys and, and Nib and Trevor, great job uh, this weekend leading us. And um, everybody else made plays when they needed to. You know, a um, little up and down still, but but we're fighting uh, for that consistency from those guys. One last question. Yep. Um, Kyle and Max both played really heavy minutes. I believe Kyle was at like 71 and Max wasn't too far behind. Is that sustainable or how do you get them? Yeah, it's tough. Rest? Yeah, tough to tough on the back to backs. Um, you know, I think they're, they're in a spot where they're playing about 34, 35 minutes each. Uh, we'd like to build in a little bit more uh, break for them. And as those younger guys continue, new guys continue to get comfortable. Um, you know, they're hopefully going to be out there a little bit more. Um, but those two guys did log some heavy minutes, and I, I'd expect them to be out there. It's just hard to take them off. When they play with so much confidence, and they organize our, our team so well. Um, and Trevor, too. You know, we don't want Trevor out there with his injury history, um, you know, for 30 minutes a night either. Um, but those guys, will, those guys will, they don't want to play less. I can tell you that. They want to play more. They're going to tell me they can play more. I've got to make sure I um, – Keep that in mind because they're they're sure not going to try to hold anything back, and <laughs> they're not going to ask to come out of the game either. That's for sure. All right, thanks, cool. guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, coach.